From Lamont, Manhattan, it is the ISAL Girls Varsity Finals with York Prep taking on LREI this afternoon. Joe see with you on the Play-by-Play -play Sports Network getting ready for this matchup. It is pin quiet in here right now as the officials are going over to the book and the teams are being instructed to go back to their benches as there is some sort of something going on with the scoreboard, I think. That's what's happening right now. But either way, should be a, a fun day of basketball, York Prep. The number two seed going up against the top-seeded LREI Knights. LREI finished its season with a 15-1 record in ISAL play. York Prep 13-3, including their win in the semifinals over Steiner at 36-32. Victory on Valentine's Day. LREI here, courtesy of a 59-46 win over Dwight. It's Leah Matthew jumping center for LREI. It's Megan Scott for York Prep. And York controls the opening tip here today. Gabby Bolt, a freshman, skips it back near side. Now into the corner, three on the way from Scott. No good. Rebound up for grabs and eventually taken by Leah Matthew. The leading players on the LREI side. Maffey gives it up. And the Knights will settle down to their half-court offense. Cutting on the baseline. Shot blocked. As Suko Bay cutting on the baseline who had it blocked out of bounds. It'll stay with the Knights. About 30 seconds gone in this one. Into Alexa Leitner. Back to Leitner. Matthew drives, picks it up, free throw line. Ends up dumping it back out. LRI very patient offensively, but it led to a bad pass and a turnover to get things going here today. So no score, one possession in the books for each side. York Prep back on it. These two teams split their two matchups during the regular season. LRI. Beat York Prep in the first matchup. Shot no good from Scott. Yeah, the rebound for LREI it was a 26-23 final at LREI in that first game. And then York Prep came back a 47-27 win at home. A timeout taken by LREI and head coach Luis Hernandez wants to talk things over. With his team, not like what he was seeing out of the offense, just a 30-second timeout. Take it here as we're just 
moments into this game, and already Luis Hernandez wanted to just tighten a few things up. As LRI's style is is definitely to play a lower scoring type of basketball game. They held their opponents to 30 points or fewer in their first 10 games in the league this year and 13 times overall. However, over their last four games, they, they haven't done that. Played in a couple of relatively higher scoring games for them. And so we'll see how they're able to try to control the tempo in today's game. A big key for LREI to, to turn this into a defensive battle. Keep this game down in the 20s and 30s. Sierra McDonald. Give it up for Billy Ali. Controlled by Leitner. Bounce pass mishandled, but controlled by LREI. They avoid the turnover, and again, continuing to just swing the ball back and forth. Shot off the mark, and a rebound for York Prep. They look to run. So after a long stretch of just ball reversals for LREI, York with a quick shot the other way, and Bolt too strong in the three. It's going to go down the other way. And be LREI basketball, and they'll get back to their ball control offense that has been so good for them and so good to them throughout this season. Matthew set the screen. Into the corner, McDonald had it blocked but got it back. No good from straight away. By Alexa Leitner and a rebound down for York. Picked up by Gabby Boltz, a freshman who's the big voice of the team for this York prep side. Scott pulls up, long two is good. First points of the game, long to Megan Scott of York prep. Maffey backs it out. Tries for a long two that didn't go. Off the offensive rebound. Foul is Suko Bay. Now going back up and we'll have our first foul of the game. And Bay to the free throw line to shoot two. Valid Rihanna Hines for York Prep. His first was no good. <laughs> 0 for 2, and a rebound for Bolts. Scott gave it up. Bolts for a long two, no good. Rebound. Ping pongs around. It'll be LREI basketball just inside. Five minutes left to go in the first. All right, let's go, Knights. Matthew controlling. Now over to Leitner. Lee to the right side, got it back. Open look for three in the zone, no good on the shot. Offensive rebound, and Bay fouled going right back up. It's going to be a foul against Cleo Newbert. Foul number one for her. And the first free throw from Bay is no good, so Suko Bay Sophomore the line for the second time. And hits the second free throw. So Bay picks up her first point of the game. A 2-1 lead for York. Three and a half minutes gone in the first. Scott thought about it for a second. Has tipped off a hand and out of bounds. Trying to find Hines, but just a little bit too high for her. Couldn't corral it down. And a turnover for York Brett. 
Quick trigger three for the Knights, no good. Off the offensive rebound, a long two, no good. Going the other way. Long pass ahead in transition. Gabby Bolt with the layup. Four one York and a travel. They Matthew shuffled the feet before putting the ball down. It's called for the walk. Outside the three is no good. Scott the rebound and her shot no good. Another offensive rebound. <laughs> the ball put up no good. Again, another offensive rebound for York. Another miss, another board, a three on the way, no good. Another offensive rebound. It's five in a row for York Prep. They'll settle it down. Three from Scott is no good. And finally, LREI corrals a miss. Sierra McDonald in the right spot as they get the stop on that extended York Prep possession. No doubt this first quarter's been played more at LREI's pace than it has been at York's. Mid-range from Matthew, no good. Rebound for LREI, McDonald out for three, no. And the rebound out off York Prep. Head coach Jack Espel calls timeout for York Prep with 2.38 left to go in the first. It's a 4-1 lead for York. 30-second timeout, but we'll take it alongside the teams. Watching today's contest on the play-by-play -play sports network. Ellery eyeball, 2.38 left to go in the first out of the timeout from York Prep. Held the Knights, just one free throw made so far. No field goals for the 15 and one Knights. They'll start falling eventually. Leitner no good on the shot. Miss grab by Hines, real force on the boards. For this York Prep team. Outside, Newbert, no good. Hines gets the rebound, tipping it around to herself. We've seen some tenacious offensive rebounding out of York Prep today. Bolt into the corner, three no good. And the rebound for McDonald's as Hines couldn't connect. A lead too strong. Scott got the rebound and looks to push the tempo. Three-pointer goes down. That was bold up to five points for York. And a 7-1 lead. Leitner, long two, rattles out. Ellery I continuing to struggle shooting the basketball today. Scott wings it out. Three off the mark. Offensive rebound, Newber. Less than a minute left to go in the first. Scott for three, too strong. McDonald got the miss for LREI, trying to put together a strong possession here towards the end of the first. Lee no good, rebound tipped out to McDonald. 
Matthew outside, high arcing three is Shorts. Scott the rebound, looks to push in transition, layup good for Val Vinichenko. Vinichenko in her first year playing basketball has been one of the most improved players on this York prep team. The beginning of the season to now, a lead for three. Might have been tipped, but came up a bit short. Chance for another shot for York. Long ahead, Vinichenko at the horn, no good. Rebound down for LRAI. They might have a chance the other way. No good. Didn't get off in time from Alexa Leitner. And that'll do it for the first quarter here at Le Mans. Eight minutes in the books. It's a 9-1 lead for York Prep. You're watching the ISAL Girls Varsity Championship game. Start of the second quarter here at LeMond Manhattan. A 9-1 lead for York Prep over LRAI. After one quarter, Maffey, early shots for the Knights was no good. Rebound for Val Vinichenko. Joe Vasile with you here today. It was a, a dominant first quarter for York. Yeah, I can kneel off on the three. Ellery I knocks it down. That's Alexa Leitner with the first field goal make of the day for the Knights. That is a big shot for Ellery I trying to come back in this one. Three from Bolt is banked in. Gabby Bolt with three. Leitner looking to answer. Too strong. Rebound for Vinichenko for York Prep. Now Megan Scott, hop step through the lane and it knocked away. Long ahead, Leitner flags it down to the rim. Leitner has five all coming in the second quarter. And a good start for LREI after a rough first quarter. Seem like they've got it down here in the second as Vinichenko off on the take. Matthew with the defense and the rebound. Chance to cut in further. Leitner nearly walked but got it back. Matthew out long two. Didn't go but an offensive rebound. McDonald for three didn't go either. And Bolt got the miss for York Prep. will look to settle it down. Scott and Bolt up top underneath Finichenko. Good defense late by Matthews sliding over. Rebound by Hines, then a held ball. Possession arrow is going to go down with LREI. 
So the Knights down 9-1 at the start of the quarter and in two minutes time have cut in to that lead a little bit to get it back down to six, or pardon. Position now favored York. And inside, Scott gets the bucket and draws a foul, a chance for a three-point play for Megan Scott. Foul goes against Suko Bay. Her first and the first of the game against LREI. Scott, the freshman, free throw no good. Cassidy Moskowitz got the rebound for LREI. Leitner, long two is good. Alexa Leitner has been carrying LREI offensively in the second quarter. She has all seven of the night's points. Back to a six point lead for York Prep. Bolt. Down the wing, Meal for three, connects. 17 to eight, York in front. As they've continued to make shots on the offensive side. Leitner's got it. Works it in. Right back out for her, three, no good. On the straightaway heat check, rebound down for Megan Scott. Meal on the run, couldn't get the roll, rebound for Maffey. Breaks it out ahead to Leitner, who a little turned around by the pass, and York takes it away. Lillary Eyes started to get out and run a lot more here in the second quarter than they did in the first, and it's been effective for them. Scott, skipped off the rim, rolls out. And it'll be LRAI basketball. Mena Mahalo is gonna check in for the Knights. She'll go over to inbound it. First we've seen well, the first year here today. York also gonna run a sub out. Looks like Cleo Newberts is gonna come on to replace Bianca Meal. So both Jack Espel and Luis Hernandez moving some pieces around on the court. Little confusion, some things on the substitution. Refs going over and talking to both head coaches and getting ready for a return to action here momentarily. Hillary I down by nine. Three no good. That was Mahalo, rebound off the hands of Newberts. Will stay with the Knights. That's one where Newbert probably would have been better suited just to, to let that one take itself out of bounds rather than try to grab the board. Pass tipped, Matthews got it, and she gets called for the illegal dribble. Over for the Knights, playing much better basketball here in the second than they did in the first. Scott tried to thread the needle with a pass. It's tipped and then deflected out of bounds by Rihanna Hines. Another York prep turnover. Let's see if Ellery I is going to be able to capitalize on this one. Moskowitz. Mahalo on the drive, lost it. And Scott takes it away. Nancy dribbling from Megan Scott, team's leading scorer and just a freshman. Mid-range is good from Gabby Bolt, she's got 10. More than half of York's points in this game. Defense, 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 defense. 
step back, no good. As Matthew had it in the rebound for Newbert. Scott guarded by Mahalo. Got it back from Bolt. They pull it out. Long pass to Bolt. Dribble in, bank it in. A dozen for Gabby Bolt. York, a team being led by its freshmen here today, Bolt and Scott. Mahalo for three, didn't go. And this time, Newbert learned from last time and will just let this one bounce itself out of bounds and secure the possession for York Prep. Scott into the corner. Newbert left open for three, no good. Rebound comes out for Scott. Nearly poked free. Newbert thought about it. Got a pack out for Bolt. Long two, no good. And a rebound for Vinichenko. Scott for three, it's pure. Megan Scott with time to load up, knocks it down. She has seven, 24-8. York Prep tripling up LREI here in the first half. Well short by Billy Ali, but the rebound for Moskowitz. Extends the possession, she'll try another. This time a little too long. And another offensive rebound. Two no good. And <laughs> Moskowitz just throws it out of bounds off a York player. It was Megan Scott. And had a timeout taken by York with just over a minute left to go in the second. Talk things over. We'll take a step aside watching the ISAL Girls Basketball Championship. Sixty-one seconds left to go before halftime. Ellery is still in their huddle from this timeout. York is out there, and Jim Jenkins, who's the head boys coach at Richwath and Lennox, who's doing the PA for this game, he's got to go coach his team in the boys championship game coming up next. But he just gave a little PA announcement that we're ready to get back to action. Is is kind of a, a nudge nudge. Luis Hernandez taking up as much time as he needs to get the team ready to play a, a strong final minute here in the second quarter to cut into this lead. Design it in quick, a three is no good by Alden Home and York eventually gets the missed ball. Here's Scott. Pass far side to Bolts, quickly dumped it in. Might have been blocked there by Matthew, but it comes back out for a Bolt three. That doesn't go, and a foul on the rebound. Vitachenko called for going over the back. Now Vitachenko has been accepted to Cornell, going off continue her academic career in the Ivy League next year. Been a valuable member of this York prep team this year, though.
Moskowitz. Omey, mid-range no good. Scott got the rebound. 15 seconds to play in the half. Scott gonna take it all the way. No good. And Ellery I cleans up the miss. Eight seconds left to go before halftime. The pass, Omey at the buzzer. It's good. The junior knocks down the long two to give us a halftime score of Ellery I trailing York Prep 24 to 10. We'll take a step aside. We'll be back with the third quarter when we come back. You're watching the ISAL Girls Basketball Championship.
Start of the third quarter here at Lamont, Manhattan. It's a 24-10 lead for York Prep over LREI in the ISAL Girls Basketball Championship game. Joe Basile with you here today. It was uh, a first half that was characterized by really excellent play by York. They were up 9-1 to one after the first quarter. LREI started to, to kind of get its wind about it in the second. Started to fast break a little bit more. That led to some points. Selex Leitner had a really strong second quarter. But LREI really struggled to get stops defensively. York Prep, tenacious offensive rebounding, especially in that second quarter as well, helped them out. And an early stop for LREI as Bolts had 12 points in the first half, missed the shot. And the Knights got the rebound. Long two from Elise, no good, and the rebound down for York. So both teams come up empty on their first possession here in the third quarter. And, you know, for LREI, a, a team that really does pride itself on its defense, holding opponents to single-digit points on multiple occasions in league play this season. Corner three, Bolts, rebounds out of bounds. The LREI basketball. They've got that ability. If they can hold York to, to only a handful of points and, and really clamp down defensively to just chip away at this lead a little bit. Get this down into the single digits in the next couple minutes. That'd certainly be huge for the Knights' chances. Pass intercepted as Vinichenko took it away. Scott, spin move to the rack, no good. And the rebound for Bay. Already much better work on the glass for LREI here in this third quarter. You can tell that was a, a big point of emphasis for Luis Hernandez at halftime. It's the shot inside for Matt, they didn't go. Rebounding and taking away those second and third chances for York is going to be so huge. Bay off the steal inside for Leitner. Nine points for Alexa Leitner. And after LREI had a bucket right at the buzzer in the second, a little bit of momentum to start this third as that one's tipped by Bay. Out of bounds, it'll stay with York. Tough place to inbound here for Gabby Bolts. Down to the corner, gets it to Scott. Takes it right back, he nearly banked into three, but an offensive rebound for York. And then the tie up as Lee got her hands on it. And on the held ball for the LREI basketball. Knights bench getting into it. Same for head coach Luis Hernandez, directing some traffic offensively, calling out the play. The three, no good. Rebound for Scott, and then she travels. Another turnover for York as those starting to stack up a little bit here in the third quarter. Leitner, picked up the dribble. Round far side, Bay, no good from three. On the drive inside, shot no good. Rebound for Scott. Intercepted. Only on the run. Tipped to side, and that'll be another turnover for LREI. On the run, off the back rim for Bolt. LREI gets the miss. So another stop. York Prep still looking for its first points in the third quarter. 
Villarreal only with two points to show for it. Mapthi, mid-range is good. Liam Mapthi's first two. Get it back to a 10-point game. Four and a half to play in the third quarter. Villarreal looking for another stop. As they're on a 6-0 run going back to the end of the second. Bolt down to the ground, timeout. Taken by York as the LREI defense. Turning up the pressure, nearly forcing a turnover. And the timeout there will slow things down and Jack Espel's gonna talk things over with his York prep team. Try to get them back to where they were in the first. We'll take a step aside watching the ISAL Girls Basketball Championship. Four oh nine left to play in the third quarter. 24-14, York Prep out in front, but LRI Knights on a 6-0 run dating back to the end of the second quarter. They've gotten them a little bit closer and the defense has really done an excellent job here in the third. Bolts. Scott nearly had it taken away. Freshman gets it back, backs it out towards center court. Leitner pokes it free. Fast break. Leitner, no good. Rebound up for grabs. Matthews got it and gets fouled. She got rolled up on by Gabby Bolts. A little bit from behind, slow to get up, but Liam Matthews is okay after hitting the deck hard. First foul against either side in the third quarter. And a chance for the Knights to get this thing back to single digits with a bucket on this possession. Couple dribbles. For Sierra McDonald. Lee back to McDonald. Too strong in the three. The rebound for Rihanna Hines. York still looking for its first points in the third quarter. Bolt has tipped and stolen. Leitner came up with the ball. And then it's the other way. Hines was the one who had the tip for York. Scott crosses up a couple of times. Trying to make her way through and gets called for a travel. Tried to split a triple team. And ended up getting called for steps. Another empty possession for York Prep. Maffey called for the travel. Started to take off before dribbling. Two fifty left to play in the third. Runner, no good, and a rebound for Maffey. Neal was off the mark that time. Ball poked free, she gets it back. Oh, 
Quick ball reversal. Two no good for Ali, and the rebound in the corner for Gabby Bolts. Bolts. Into the corner for Hines, no good. And a rebound for Mappy. Two minutes left to play in the third. Quick three off the mark from D'Angelo. Fighting for the rebound. But taken by Venichenko. On the run, Meal gets the roll. That's a big one for York. Their first points in the third quarter. Took over six minutes to get him. Lee off the mark on a three. Matthew the rebound. Good passing. Comes out for a D'Angelo triple that was short. And it's saved in. Bay was a little short on the take. And York got the miss. Spin move from Scott. The runner. Nine for Megan Scott. York figuring it out offensively again. D'Angelo. And McDonald with the three for the wing. Looking to answer. It's short. Eleven point lead. Thirty seconds to go. The three off the mark from Lennon Mahalo. Or pardon, that was Billy Ali. Alder Flex off Ellery Ion out of bounds. Great sub for the Knights. Moskowitz and Kate Rotundo coming in for LREI. Rotundo's going to try to go in. Yeah, she will. Sarah McDonald's going to come off. And an illegal screen call against Bianca Meal. Nine point five seconds. Another sub for LREI. Moskowitz off. And McDonald on. LREI trying to get it closer. Leitner for three. No good. Gets the miss. Throws it up. That doesn't go either. A better third quarter for LREI, but they still find themselves down by 11. Heading into the fourth, 28-17. Watching the ISAL Girls Basketball Championships. Eight minutes left to play in this one. It's a 
17 lead for York Prep over LREI. ISAL Girls Basketball Championship in 2023 up for grabs. It was a much better third quarter for York. They outscored LREI 7-3. They were down 14 at halftime, but... Let's go Knights! Defense! Knights... Go for the steal right off the inbound. Trying to set the tone early in the fourth. Bobbled pass by Hines, but got it back under control. Three from Bolt was no good. Hines the rebound, and it's blocked. Pass ahead to Leitner. Drives in. No good on the shot. New York basketball. 7.35 left to go in this one. On the run, little shorts from Neal in the rebound for LREI. A game like this is nothing that LREI is not used to. Scott with the move, couldn't finish. Maybe not necessarily trailing at this point, but a lower scoring affair. And they've played well this year. They've gotten in a lot of defensive battles like this one. Leitner for three. And Bolt got the rebound, and Scott pressed in the backcourt. He's it ahead to Bolt. And foul called. Haven't been very many fouls in this game. It's going to go against Sierra McDonald, though. Foul on the floor. That's the first second half foul against Del Ariai. Also the first, obviously, in this fourth quarter. And overall, just the, the second against them in the game. There's only been three total fouls against York Prep in this one. Both teams have done a great job defending without fouling. Bucket good. That's Scott from the corner. She's up to 11. It was Gabby Bolt carrying York early on. She had 12. And Scott now up to 11. And a foul called against York Prep. Go against Bianca Beal. That'll be her seconds. A little bit overzealous defensively. McDonald, little shorts. Scott got the rebound for York. He's been all over the place. Prep today and stolen by Matthew. Matthew looking to drive. Leitner got it back for McDonald. No good on the three. Mahalo trying to fight for it and not able to come up with it. Well, Mahalo's energy coming off the bench for LREI today has been a big difference in this second half. Scott drives, gets the bucket. 13 for Megan Scott. And a 32-17 lead for York Prep. Angelo dribbled off her foot into the backcourt. And the over and back. Called against Stellar E.I. as Mahalo went and picked up the loose ball. So just over five minutes left. York Prep up by 15. They've led by as many as 16 in this game. So closing in on their biggest lead so far. Stellar E.I. had a little bit of a run. Travel called against Bolt for a turnover. 
never able to get it down to single digits. They got up to 10 down from 16. New York has gone right back up and extended the lead. Need to hit a shot here. So May no good. Meal in the corner. Passed underneath. And the bucket good for Rihanna Hines. Big point in this game for her to pick up her first two. Largest lead of the game for York. They're up 17. May no good on a three. Out of bounds off York. I'll take it back. And boy, it's been a while for them offensively. Just looking for their first points in the quarter. Oh, man, another three, and she's fouled. The shot was no good, but Alden O'May to the free throw line to shoot three free throws for LREI. Foul against Val Vinichenko. First free throw is short. Three points of the game for the junior, Alden Homey. She goes two for three at the line. 34-19, 4.04 left to go. Bolts. Catch with Meal up top. Meal looking to drive, shot no good, rebound. It's grabbed by Chloe Cunningham into the game for LREI. It's Luis Hernandez getting some players' experience. Cunningham in, Kate Rotundo is checked in. Same for Cassidy Moskowitz. Here's Leitner, back rim on the three, and it came up and hit one of the supports of the backboard. So out of bounds, it'll be York Prep basketball. Three and a half minutes left to play here in the fourth. 34-19, York in front. The only league loss for LREI in the regular season was to York Prep on the 6th of February, just 10 days ago. And York won that game by 20. Looking for another big win over LREI here today. Hines, another two. And Luis Hernandez calling three more players off the bench to go into the game. Omey for three. Thanks short. Bolt got the miss. 2.45 left to go. And thrown clear out of bounds. Now talk with Jack Espel before this one. Five on, five off for LREI. Timeout taken by York. Not happy with that last sequence. I want to talk with Jack Espel, first year head coach for York Prep, now kind of poised to win the ISAL. He said, look, hey, as a first-year head coach, he's just been blessed with a, a lot of great players, a lot of athleticism that we've seen out there today, but also just a, a, a good group off the court, just he, he, in his words, very kind uh, players throughout the team and just someone who was very energetic in talking about his team and, and getting ready for this game and a, a big one as a first-year head coach. Trying to take down the top-seeded LREI Knights and in the driver's seats, up by 17 points with just a couple of minutes left to go. York Prep 
are going to be ISAL champions. 2.45 left to play. As we'll get ready to restart. Reminder after the game, a trophy presentation taking place on the court. A little bit of an intermission. And then the boys' championships featuring York Prep defending state champions, York Prep and Birchwild and Lennox. McDonald off on a three. Rebounds out of bounds. It'll be York basketball. Been a fun couple of days here in Le Mans. Yesterday, the JV side of things, boys and girls champions both crowned. And a traveling violation. We'll turn it over. Avenues winning in JV. On the girls' side for boys, it was Brooklyn Friends beating York Prep. Avenues over LREI yesterday as a big three-pointer for Bianca Meal makes it a 20-point game with a minute 47 left to go. LREI after a strong start to the third quarter with just two points as Matthew's shot rims out. There's two points here in the fourth quarter as LREI has seen its chances slip away. But that said, a fantastic season for the Knights. As Vinichenko picks up the bucket, she's got four. 41-19, York Prep by 22. It's been a great season for the Knights, finished with just one loss in ISAL play. O'May now up to six points. She has all four points for York Prep during the fourth quarter. And Meal called for going over and back. They'll turn it over for York. More subs. Rotundo coming in. As well as Leitner. LREI with 46 seconds left to go. The two is banked in by Billy Ali. Had a little bit of a, a tough go of things today shooting, but got one there, and Maffey. <laughs> 27 seconds left. Leo Newberg getting ready to come back in for York. Or in a substitution. It's Gabby Bolts. A little bit shaken up. Off to the bench for the final few seconds of this one. McDonald's, no good on the three. Leitner chased the rebound down. On the run, Maffey left it short. Ball loose on the ground. Rebound is grabbed and can't see what the call is. But it's gonna be LREI basketball. A couple fans standing up, obstructed the referee as in the corner of three for Sierra McDonald. Gives her six and that'll do it. The final score from LeVon is York 41 and York 26. York Prep is the ISAL girls basketball champion in 2023 with a dominating performance today. They locked up 
LREI in the first quarter and set the tone and really never looked back as the Knights never got it within 10 points after the second quarter. It, it was a, a truly dominant win for York Prep today. They are the ISAL champions here in 2023. And we'll turn it over now to public address announcer Tim Jenkins for the post-game trophy presentation ceremony here at Lamont, Manhattan. And so congratulations to the York Prep Panthers on winning the ISAL girls basketball tournament this year. Fantastic final between them and LREI. We'll take a step aside on our coverage. We'll come back and it'll be the boys finals starting right on this feed right around 30 minutes from now. It's York Prep and Birch Wadden Lennox coming up next watching the ISAL 2023 Basketball Championships.
Frillamon, Manhattan, it's time for the ISAL Boys Basketball Championship game as Birch Wadden Lennox takes on York Prep in the much anticipated grudge match between these two teams. When they first met, it was BWL taking down York in overtime in a stunning victory, sending York to its first ISAL loss in two years. But then, just a couple of days later, six days later, as a matter of fact, York with a dominant 87-43 win at BWL. Both of these teams with just one league loss, and it was to each other. And we're ready to go in this championship game. Hayden Gear jumping center for York. Going up against Tobias Cloner. And the ball controlled by BWL to start things off. We're underway here today. Russell Fisher with the early touch for Birch Wadden Lennox and head coach Tim Jenkins. Inside, bucket good for Jack Rabari. Starting lineup for BWL, Kroner, Rabari, Fisher, Michael Barker, and Harris Witten. Into the corner. On Kalashi, gave it up to Hayden Gear. Now Taylor Perlmutter, a little bit short on a three, and the rebound taken down by BWL. For Brian Shore, the starting five, Dylan Friedman, Ron Kalashi, Taylor Perlmutter, Jacob Hume, and Hayden Gear. The team showing some zone early on here today. Rabari gets it. Corner jumper, no good. That was Cloner. York, the defending state champions. A three is no good on a quick trigger. Offensive rebound, it's Dylan Friedman knocking down the three-pointer. Ryan Shore says Dylan Friedman, a player who's seen huge growth out of this year. Last year it was mostly just a shooter, but has made his game so much more well-rounded this year and has more of a complete game on the defensive side, helping to set his teammates up. Rabari pulls up off the dribble. And York gets the rebound. That was Friedman. Perlmutter on the drive, what a take! A 5-0 run for York has put them in the lead. York pressing out by half court. Played high, Rabari. Baseline, J too strong. Rabari the offensive rebound, he shorts. Good defense on the interior by Gear, who got the rebound. Chance for York to break out again, a three is good. Timeout, BWL, as Kalashi knocked it down from the corner. An 8-0 run for the Panthers. 5.58 left to go in the first quarter. York Prep in front, eight to two, just a 30 second timeout taken by BWL and this is exactly what Tim Jenkins was not hoping to happen early on after they played a close game back and forth, the overtime victory first time out, a 40 point win for York in the second meeting and this one shaping up all York early on here today. And Brian Shore and the team felt confident coming into this one in their preparation. They like playing at this gym at Le Mans, which is a much bigger court than what they have at home at York. Team that likes to spread the floor, they felt like that was something they could use to their advantage as Perlmutter got tied up, fighting for the rebound inside with Jake Eisenberg. Held ball, keeps it with York. EWL gonna press in the backcourt. Underneath, here, double teamed, kick it out for a three, no good. Offensive rebound by Gear, but a foul called. Blow the play dead. Was on Tobias Cloner. Kalashi's three didn't go, and a rebound 
down for BWL. So they get a stop, but now need to get a bucket. Eisenberg drives. Out for a Russell Fisher three. Perlmutter the rebound and a long ball up ahead. Perlmutter, no good. Fisher got the miss for BWL. Now they've gotten a couple of stops in a row. See if they can convert that into points on the other end though. They've had a, a lengthy drought, scoring the first possession of the game and nothing since. Eisenberg, the deep arcing three, no good. And it comes and hits off of one of the supports of the backboard. And so it'll be York basketball. Tim Jenkins makes a substitution. Sends Zachary Golub out onto the courts. Golub wearing number 15 today for BWL in blue. Kalashi thought about it. Perlmutter driving to the rack, no good. Rebound by Tobias Cloner. Blocked, but a foul. Golub had the drive. And the foul gonna go against Hayden Gear, his first. So Golub, junior at the free throw line. Trying to break a nearly three and a half minute scoreless drop for BWL and does. Michael Barker gonna come back in for the Lions. Second rim's out, but a lane violation is gonna give Golub another chance. New York player jumped the gun just a little bit. So Golub goes two for two by going two for three. And it's a four point lead for York Prep. Pass off the hands of Kalashi and out of bounds. This gym is a tiny gym and it is absolutely packed. In fact, there's overflow in the lobby at Le Mans right now. They had to wheel a, a TV monitor out there so that everyone could watch. Golub got it. He's got four. Two point lead for York after their 8 0 run. Golub getting BWL a little closer. Off the hands. Controlled by Perlmutter. Leading scorer for York this season, averaging nearly 30 points per game. This is only season at York. Transferred in this year. Three, Kalashi, no good. And a chance for BWL to tie or take the lead this trip down the floor. Cloner drives, triple team. Extra pass, three on the way, it's good! Harris Witten puts BWL back in front. A 7-0 run for the Lions, and the answer the other way! Dylan Friedman, his second of the game. 11-9 York. The energy inside the gym here at Le Mans is palpable. Short corner J from Cloner didn't go. Another three, this time Kalashi. And that was Golub flying to the rebound. Boy, with Zachary Golub in the game for BWL. Big difference out there on both ends. Great sub by Tim Jenkins. Golub mishandled the pass. It's taken away by Perlmutter, and he's off to the races. Ahead for Kalashi to the rim, and he left it short. The rebound, and a block, but a foul. Woo! 
It's on Tobias Cloner, and that's his second. So Rex Atlas up off the bench for BWL as Tim Jenkins has got four players over by the sub table right now to come in as Perlmutter's first free throw is good. Taylor Perlmutter this season is closing in on 600 points this year alone. And over 130 of those from the free throw line, he just gets to the line like crazy as he hits the second. Shoots at a high percentage from the line as well, over 75%. Three is blocked, rebound out of bounds. It'll be BWL basketball. Two minutes left to go, 13-9. York Prep out in front. Attacking Rabari, the floater. Four points for Jack Rabari. Good one cooking here at Le Mans in the ISAL championship game. Inside a foul on Rabari. He's not happy with the call, but there was a lot of contact there. And to the line to shoot two, Hayden Gear. Here, the junior. Just six for 16 from the free throw line this season. And he goes 0 for 2 here, but the rebound is grabbed by York. Max Ehrlich. Three no good. Rebound tipped around, and Rex Atlas has it. Both coaches being aggressive in their substitution patterns early on in an intense game. On the way in, that's Barker. Tied it, a Baker's dozen. Perlmutter looking to take over. What a dish and a finish by Gear. That was a pretty play by Perlmutter, the drive and then the pass on the baseline. And that was something Brian Schur really Highlighted about Perlmutter, yes, there's the scoring totals, but an unselfish player who's not afraid to make a pass to set his teammates up if they have a great look. Fisher, no good on the three, rebound backs out. Still up for grabs, on the floor, tie up. Possession arrow favors BWL. Lions basketball, 48 seconds left to go. In the first quarter, 15-13 York. No shot clock. Hold as long as you want, but neither of these teams want to hold it. Three was no good by Barker. Fight for it, down underneath. And it's going to be BWL basketball. They were fighting for it. Was surprised there wasn't a tie-up called. But possessed by York on the baseline. Quickly in, bucket good, Rabari. He's got six and we're tied at 15. Three from the corner. Ron Kalashi with his second three-pointer as York has done a great job shooting from beyond the arc. Nearly taken away on his way in, no good from Barber. And then after Barker's miss, Rabari fouled on the way back up. Two shots coming up for the senior Jack Rabari. Three point lead for York. Final seconds to the first. First free throw, no good from Rabari. Cheerleaders making some noise. Can't even see where they are. That's how crowded it is in here as Rabari hits the second. Two point York lead. Five seconds left. 
Perlmutter for three, no good. Offensive rebound by Gear. that doesn't go. And that'll do it for the first quarter here at Le Mans. Eight minutes in the books. It's an 18-16 lead for York Prep. You're watching the ISAL Boys Basketball Championship. An overflow crowd here at Lamont, Manhattan today. Apologies to the gentleman for showing the bald spot there. But a two point lead for York Prep at the end of the first quarter. Thought this was going to be a great game, and it delivered in those first eight minutes. New York will have it first here to start the second. Quick turnaround is good for Max Ehrlich. Left alone in the soft spot of his zone, and that was basically a, a practice shot for him, all alone from the free throw line. Four point lead for York. They've led by as many as six. Inside Atlas, and a blocking foul called on York. It's going to be Ehrlich picking it up. That'll be his first. Third against the team. Each team with three fouls at this point. Possession arrow favoring BWL. Atlas bobbled but got it back. Baseline jumper rolls down for Tobias Cloner, who's playing up there with two fouls right now. So he's got to be careful defensively. Perlmutter, Ehrlich with the bounce pass out of bounds. A rare turnover for York Prep. At least in this game. York Prep playing shorthanded. Shane Fisher, a season ending injury, career ending injury for him. One of the better players on this team is on the way in. Offensive foul. Dylan Thompson called for the charge. No Fisher, definitely a loss for this York team, but they've been playing without him for a couple of games now and still been finding ways to win. Pearl Mutter, good. Six points for Taylor Perlmutter today and back to a four point lead for York Crick. Pass tipped by Pearl Mutter and out of bounds. Stay with BWL substitution, Russell Fisher and Jack Rabari check back in. Rabari was the leading scorer for BWL in the first quarter with seven points. Doing some good work inside, strong presence in the block. Rabari had it poked free, gets it back. Eisenberg. Harris Wetton. Stolen. Kalashi picked it away on the fast break. Hume is fouled. Jonathan Hume streaking to the basket. Fouled on the way up by Russell Fisher. And so Hume, the senior, will head to the free throw line for two. Hume nine for 19 from the line this year and misses the first. Overall, as a team, York Prep about 67% from the free throw line, but a lot of that done by Taylor Perlmutter. It's been excellent. The second goes. Hume's got a point and a five point lead for York Prep.
Fighting on the drive, spin move. Golub, no good. Now as Gear is skying for the rebound. Quickly ahead. Good ball movement. Palashi thought about a deep three. Instead pulls it down. Perlmutter will take a three of his own and miss. EWL with just two points here in the second. There you go. And they're not going to get more here. Taken away and then a foul. Against PWL is Harris White and called for the reach in. That's foul number six against Birchbob and Lennox. So York nearly in the bonus here in the first half. Quick trigger three from Hume, didn't go. Fisher got the rebound, looks to break out. And good transition defense for York, slows him down. There you go, T. You don't practice that, T, let's go. Eisenberg, extra pass, corner three, Fisher, no good. Offensive rebound, the put back for Tobias Cloner. Three point lead for York. Looking for a triple, it's Kalashi with his third of the game. Nine points for Ron Kalashi. On the drive, no good. Fight for the rebound, out of bounds, York basketball. The shot by Cloner. 26-20, 4.43 left to go in the second. Three-quarter court press by the Lions. Losing it on the drive. Baseline was Dylan Friedman. A New York turnover, but can the Panthers, or rather can the Lions capitalize? Coke free, nearly. And now again, stay with BWL as, as touched by York. York team that won states last year for the first time since 1992. Graduated eight players. Got themselves right back in championship contention this season. Perlmutter on the drive, fouled. He'll head to the line for two as the shot was no good. And Perlmutter, a big reason why York is back in the position that it's in despite all of the graduations from a year ago. Free throw for the lefty rolls down. Seven points for Perlmutter. Foul against Jake Eisenberg, by the way, is his first. Now seven on BWL, so York in the bonus for the rest of the first half. Two for two for Perlmutter, who's up to eight points. 28-20, York in front, starting to pull away a little. Eisenberg with an open look for three, banked in! Boy, whenever BWL's needed a big shot in this game, they've gotten it. Perlmutter, the spin around What a play! The lead is seven. Julia Soltar shut the top of the press. Boy, what aggressive defense by York. Shot didn't go, offensive rebound. And... Whistle blows it dead. A foul on York Prep. That is the fifth foul, or rather fourth against York. First against Dylan Friedman. Pounding inside, Cloner blocked, but a foul. York fans not happy with the call. But the foul on Hayden Gear is going to be his second. 326 to play in the second. Cloner at the free throw line. Shooting two. Hits the first. 
the two posts for BWL, Tobias Kloner and Jack Rabari, have done a majority of the damage for the Lions today. Five points for Kloner, seven for Rabari so far. Everything else kind of spread out as the second. No good, offensive rebound. And another chance. He doesn't know where it is. And it's picked up by York. It was Max Ehrlich who came up with the loose ball. Perlmutter navigating around as it blocks. Fight for the loose ball. It was Thompson who had the block as Perlmutter didn't realize he was coming from the side. And then a foul against Taylor Perlmutter. Going after the loose ball and another chance for BWL to cut into the lead a little bit. Rabari on, Cloner off, the sub for Tim Jenkins. And a traveling violation on Rex Atlas. Turnover for the Lions. A six point lead for York in a close contest. What a fun one. Oltarsh gives it up to the corner. Pass goes askew from Dylan Friedman. Picked up by Perlmutter. They say it was tipped, so no over and back. Kalashi for three, left it short. Offensive rebound, extra pass, a block, gonna foul. This one will go against Witten and it'll be his second. And it'll send Dylan Friedman to the free throw line to shoot two. First free throw is good by Dylan Friedman, who's got seven points now. A couple three pointers in the first quarter. Now a free throw here. Seconds. No good. EWL gets the miss. Still trailing. Multiple possessions quickly in for Golub. Right off the bench and into the scoring action. Five point lead for York. Three for Friedman didn't go. Golub got the rebound. On the baseline, on the drive, no good. Thompson got his own miss, sends it out for an Eisenberg three that didn't go either. And a foul called against Golub. Trying to steal it away from Dylan Friedman. That's Golub's first. It's foul number nine on BWL, so a one and one coming here for Dylan Friedman. First of the one and one is no good, and Golub gets the rebound. High point lead for York, two minutes to go before halftime. And a bad pass. Rabari trying to find Zachary Golub and just got it behind him. Perlmutter pulls up for three, no good. And Golub again skying for the rebound. Taken away. Off the bad pass, it was Friedman. Perlmutter attacking, splitting the defense. Shot no good, but he was fouled. And Taylor Perlmutter go to the free throw line for two. As the foul goes against Jack Rabari, that'll be his second. Or, hmm, did they call it on Golub looks like they got that up on Golub. Either way, that'll be Golub's second. Rumutter's first free throw is no good. Our coach is making subs. Brian Shore sending Hayden Gear and Jonathan Hume back onto the courts. Yeah. 
second goes down. 11 points in the first half for Taylor Perlmutter. The lead is six. Witten gets the bucket. He has five, and it is loud. One minute to go in the second quarter. Palashi. Three on the way from Hume is Shorts. Rebound secured by Birch Robin Lennox. Hume pressing in the backcourt. Dylan Thompson for three. It's good! One point game! The sophomore Dylan Thompson with his first bucket of the night. Quickly ahead, looking to answer. Hume no good. BWL gets the miss and a chance to take the lead going into halftime. Tim Jenkins says just hold for the last shot. 10 seconds left. Five count on. Witten drives. Golub, two seconds. At the horn, Cloninger, not good by Cloner. What an electric first half from Lamont. Halfway home, it's York Rep 32. And BWL 31. Anyone's game in the ISAL championship game. Don't go anywhere. Second half coming up.
Start of the third quarter at LeBond Manhattan. It's a 32-31 lead for York Prep over Birch Watton Lennox at halftime. A phenomenal first half in the ISAL Boys Basketball Championship game here in 2023. Joe Basile with you here today in Lower Manhattan down to the Financial District. A capacity crowd inside the gym overflow in the hallway because you can't safely fit anyone else in this gym. Electric atmosphere here today. EWL looking for the lead, not gonna get it there. Lions had the first bucket of the game. They took a two nothing lead and haven't led since. Except for a, a brief 9-8 advantage in the first quarter. Inside, no good by Tobias Cloner. York gets the stop in its first defensive stand in the second half. Quickly looking to Friedman, who's off the mark on a three, but an offensive rebound for Jacob Hume. Hume started but didn't play big minutes in the first half. Kalashi short on a three as both Friedman and Kalashi have hit a few threes, but not a, a great percentage as Eisenberg streaking to the basket. Puts PWL in front by points. The chance of defense. Thrown out of bounds. Deflected off Harris Whiten. Go get it. Got the pick and roll, baby. Perlmutter, oh, crafty pass, but blocked at the doorstep. Hugh. On the drive, a foul on Fisher going to the basket. And Russell Fisher will head to the line for two free throws. Foul against Ron Kalashi is his first. Fisher no good on his first free throw. And a sub for Brian Schur. Jacob Hume comes off. He's replaced by Max Ehrlich. The second. That doesn't go either. Rebound by Hayton Gear. Perlmutter on the drive, the runner, no. Cloner got the miss for BWL. Tim Jenkins calling out the play. Eisenberg, the drive, the dish. No finish, though. Offensive rebound, and Cloner is blocked. And then tied up underneath. Harris Witten. Had a couple of York players around him. And on the jump ball, possession arrow favors York. 55, play tough, baby. Panthers been held scoreless in his third quarter so far, nearly two minutes gone. Ball moving against the zone, straightaway three didn't go. York has shot a lot of threes today. They made a good number. As Jack Rabari steps into one, he's got nine. BWL has been dominating in the points and the paints. Here, poked free, but a foul. It's Jake Eisenberg. Picking up his second foul. First on BWL. Oh. 35-32. Kalashi thought about the three in rhythm. A better look for Friedman. But blown dead. Foul called. Hit on the arm is going to send Friedman to the line for three. His first rims out. Dylan Friedman, second leading scorer on the team, at 14 and a half points per game. 
60% foul shooter this year, hits the second. He has eight now in the game. His third goes. Nine points for Dylan Friedman. Five and a half to play. One point lead for BWL. Offensive foul, Tobias Kloner. That's Cloner's third foul. And a timeout taken by Tim Jenkins. 5.26 left to go in the third. 35-34, BWL in front, just a 30-second timeout. We'll keep it here. At Le Mans is it has been an absolutely electric atmosphere here for this game and really for all four games of the ISAL championships. Yesterday, junior varsity boys and girls finals took place. Avenues beating LREI on the girls' side. York Prep falling to Brooklyn Friends in boys JV last night and then earlier today. York Prep girls taking down LREI 41-26. Claim the ISAL championship. York looking for the clean sweep at the varsity level. They could pull this one out tonight, but it is an absolute dogfight with BWL. Friedman for three, no good. Eisenberg got the miss. Guarded by Friedman. Screen from Golub and an offense. Oh my! A blocking foul. The official who made the call just couldn't see that Golub had his arm out and had a push. He was blocked because he was behind the defender, so he couldn't see it. And what a break that is for BWL. It's got to be Goldfish now. Barker gets it back underneath. No good. Rebound by Kalashi. On the drive, Perlmutter. His first points of the second half. First field goal for York in the second half. High post J, good for Labari. Silky smooth. 11 for Jack Rabari the other way, no good. That was gear underneath. One point lead for the Lions. And a trick. Dylan Friedman picks up his second foul. Four minutes to play in the third. Pick and roll action. Little dream shuffle by Whiten, but had it blocked. Friedman, no good. Rebound secured. Zachary Gala, both hands around it. And a kick ball against York. Eisenberg trying to send a bounce pass into a cutting Golub, but ended up going off a York leg. Harrison Geeling checks in for York. By the way, York Prep, without the services of Harlan Auerbach today, good glue guy on this team. Free throw line, Jay blocked out of the hands of Cloner. York the other way, Pearl Mutter attacking, blocked! 
a foul on BWL. But that shot was blocked almost through the wall. As the group sitting in the last row of stands is still all a fluttered from that ball. Coming right at him. Pearl Mutter at the line, shooting two. His first is no good. Rex Atlas checks in box for BWL. Out, out. Tobias Kohler off to the bench. The second for Perlmutter goes. 14 points for Taylor Perlmutter. We're tied at 37. What a game. Spin move, Gala blocked. A clean block by Hayden Gear. Perlmutter thought about it, gave it up for a three, no good from Friedman. And then a foul on Gear for going over the back. Just reached straight over the top of Golub. Gear picks up his third foul and the fourth on York in the second half. Each team with four fouls. Each team with 37 points. Skip pass to Thompson. Baseline drive, Golub, a collision, and a blocking foul against York. The York fans are livid. The BWL fans are happy. Foul against Max Ehrlich is his third. And the fifth on York. And immediately stolen. Well, the play dead. Oh, an over and back call on Taylor Perlmutter. That is a terrible call. If anything, there was a foul on BWL there. There was contact. That was what caused that from Perlmutter. You don't call that, call the over and back, but again, you were just having to shake it off. Gotten stops, last couple possessions. Good defense by York. Three is short from Thompson. Rebound out of bounds. Stay with Birch Bob and Lennox on this end of the floor. Quickly in, no good. Rabari had it blocked. Less than two minutes to go in the third. A low scoring third quarter, but a nail biting one. Friedman, off the mark again. Offensive rebound. Friedman again, it's blocked. And then Golub is fouled. A frustration foul for Friedman, who's subbed out by Brian Shore, replaced by Ron Kalashi, as that's foul three on Friedman. He has had a tough half shooting. He's had some looks, just hasn't gotten them to go. Those are balls that normally go down for him. Minute and a half to go in the third. Fisher, tipped by Kalashi. Keeping with the Lions. Fisher slipped, but kept it alive. Gets it back. 
Golub, the floater, no good. Rebound by Gear. A lengthy scoreless drought for both teams. Perlmutter, offensive foul. Taylor Perlmutter's second foul, and that's number seven on York. BWL in the bonus for the rest of this game. Some huge calls going against York in this quarter. But they've been able to get stops defensively. Holding BWL to just six points. Unfortunately for York, they've only scored five in this quarter. Take some air out of the ball here. Witten for Rabari into the corner. Thompson, pull up. Dylan Thompson, five points, and they've come at big moments. Chance for York for a last shot. Trailing by two, Kalashi for the lead. No good. Rebound out of bounds. Last touch by York, 3.3 seconds. And early BWL basketball looking to take a lead into the fourth quarter. Ryan Shore makes a late sub. Jonathan Hume checks in for Taylor Perlmutter. Gavin Spode coming on for BWL, replacing Zachary Golub. Three-quarter court heat by Fisher, no good. And that'll do it for the third quarter from Lamont, Manhattan. Eight minutes left to play, 39-37. BWL in front, it's the ISAL Boys Basketball Championship game. BWL has it first in the fourth quarter. It's a 39-37 lead for the Lions over the defending state champions of York Prep. What a game this has been here in Lamont, Manhattan. Joe Basile with you here tonight. Thanks so much for joining us. Tip by Perlmutter and a steal. Going to the rack and he's fouled and pushed into the front row. Mutter will head to the free throw line as Russell Fisher picks up his third. You may be able to hear some of the York fans looking for a flagrant foul call, but it's not. It's not a flagrant. If he was fouled from behind, that's a different story, but Fisher was able to come around in front and get into position to avoid a flagrant, and he didn't hit him in the head because you foul a guy going for a layup on a breakaway does not a flagrant foul make. They had to confirm that it's two shots for some reason.
First from Perlmutter is good. He's got 15. to go, but the ISL championship on the line. Golub blocked, follow up, no, another bucket good, and one! Jack Rabari, count the basket, and a chance for a three-point play. Second on Kalashi and the eighth on York. And so Jack Grabari, the leading scorer for BWL today with 13 points at the line to try to get three the old fashioned way. And so a two point lead for Birch and Lennox. Pass. Out of bounds over to Shane Fisher, who caught it on the bench. And a turnover for York. Golub. Witten right back to Golub on the drive. No good. And the rebound for Greeling. Here's Perlmutter. Out for a Friedman three, it's short. Boy, he has had a tough time. The other way, no good. Perlmutter is slow to get down the court, so it's five on four for BWL. Rebound out of bounds, and Perlmutter is shaken up. Gingerly walking over to the bench for York. And an injury timeout. Boy, oh boy, it would be absolutely huge for York. You can see Perlmutter plays with that ankle brace on his left ankle, and that, that seemed to be the side that was disturbing to him. Hopefully it's nothing more than just got twisted around or something in an uncomfortable way and just got to retighten the brace, and then he's good to go. But a dynamic player for this York Prep team. York's only got four players out on the court right now. And Perlmutter runs back on and blocks it. On his way in, Kalashi, and one! And one! It's about damn time! Ron Kalashi at three threes in the first has been quiet since, but a huge bucket and a chance to put York back in front. That's every time down the lane. Foul on Eisenberg. No good on the free throw. Cloner got the rebound. 41-41. Blocked. Witten rejected by Gear. along the baseline being asked to just scooch out of the way a little bit. The chance of the fans each way. Incredible. Energy in this gym. On the attack, no good. Cloner couldn't get it. Rebound for York. Reeling pulled another. That's 
Here's setting a screen. Pass deflected, but control. Pearl Mutter, a deep three. Rims out. Offensive rebound. No good from Kawashi. Atlas got the miss. Here's Parker. Skip pass to Eisenberg. No good. Rebound by York. And a timeout taken by York Prep. Forty-one to forty-one with five forty-one left to play in the fourth. A thirty second timeout taken by the Panthers. This game was thirty two thirty one at halftime. The second half has been a much different feel. The unbelievable energy that both teams are playing with, the effort, the intensity of this game. Fitting of what's at stake, the ISAL championship. Both teams 14 and one in league play. Their only loss was to each other. BWL beat York 94-87 in overtime at York. York prep. Demolish BWL 87 43. Five days later at BWL. And now, eight days after that game, here we are. Third meeting in the last two weeks. Eisenberg with the steal. And the layup. Tim Jenkins is loving it. Loving that foul by Eisenberg Less. That's foul number seven on BWL, and so a one and one. Ron Kalashi to the free throw line. He has 11 points today, misses. Gets the miss, though. Reset. No good on the runner. This way. Rebound tips out. It's going to stay on this end with York. Two-point lead for BWL. This one's been close. The largest lead for either side today has been six points. Mutter for the lead. 19 points for Taylor Perlmutter. And a one point lead for York as they finally hit a three in the second half. Golub rejected. The follow up goes. Seven points for Harris Witten. Back-to-back -back triples. And a timeout taken by BWL. 47-45 York will take a step aside. It's the ISAL Boys Basketball Championship.
big three-pointer by Harrison Greeling. Giving York Prep a 47-45 lead, his first points of the game. And it led to that BWL timeout. York showing some three-quarter court press. Rabari. And the Lions settle down. Nearly an over and back, but controlled by Barker. Inside, the dump off to Golub. No good. Out of bounds. Lions basketball. I mean, Zach Golub, such a big factor in the first half. And York has taken him out of the equation in the second. Open look for three wet and rims out. Reeling with another rebound. He's had a couple of big ones in the second half for York. And a chance for the Panthers to start to pull away. Perlmutter, no good on a three. Rebound for Greeling. Out for Friedman. No! Another one! And a foul call on the Lions. We'll send Greeling to the line for two as Golub picks up his third. Each team with eight fouls, first to the one and one is no good. Greeling gets his own miss. Perlmutter on the run, no good. No! Gear couldn't get the follow. A two point lead for York. Boner off the mark. Perlmutter backs it out. Kalashi, out by the logo. Back from Greeling. Deep three, Kalashi, no. Long ahead, Eisenberg, locked clean! What a beautiful play in transition by Ron Kalashi. So difficult to get that clean without fouling, and he did. Timeout. Birch, Watt, and Lennox calls time with inside three minutes to go, trailing by two. We'll take a step aside. You're watching the ISAL Boys Basketball Championship. Out of the timeout, BWL basketball. We'll see what Tim Jenkins has drawn up. A pass that's intercepted by Dylan Friedman. Probably exactly what Brian Shore was hoping for. Perlmutter was off the mark. Rebound secured by Jack Rabari. And talking back and forth between Rabari and Friedman on the way up the court. This game is chippy, it is emotional. It is fun, no good. Offensive rebound and no from Cloner. BWL having a hard time buying a bucket over the last few minutes. 
but York hasn't been able to capitalize. Still a two point lead with two minutes to go. Perlmutter, Kalashi three, rims out. York's been getting good looks all game long from beyond the arc. The shots just haven't been falling. Timeout, BWL. I mean, if you're Brian Shore, you're, you're probably a little frustrated that you've been missing so many threes throughout the game, but you can't really complain that much with Friedman and Kalashi, your two best three-point shooters, taking so many. They've had open looks, they just haven't been going down, and that's exactly what York wants. They want to be shooting a lot of threes, they want to be playing with this kind of pace, spreading the floor that they've done effectively. But it's just been one of those days where the shots have not been falling. Not at the rate that the Panthers are, are used to in this gym. I mean, there's, there's a lot of really good shooters on this team, uh, I mean, and, and it obviously hurts, again, not to have Shane Fisher, which they haven't had for a couple of games. It was a guy shooting about 35% from beyond the arc, but, you know, this year, Dylan Friedman shooting 37% from three, almost 38%. He's been cold for most of this game, hit a couple early on, but has missed since. Julius Holtarsh. Doesn't shoot a ton, but can knock him down. We haven't seen a ton of him this season or today. A two-point lead for York with a minute 39 left to go. All of that is to say they're still in front. And all they got to do is hold on over the final 99 seconds to claim another championship. And the ISAL on the drive, Witten block for the foul. Two shots coming up for Harris Witten. Foul on Harrison Greerling will be his first. That was the first foul on York in a very long time, but it's their ninth. No good. So now the best they can do is get it down to a one-point game. A nail-biter at Lamont. No, 0 for 2. Perlmutter got the rebound. And a foul on BWL. That'll send Perlmutter to the line for two. Mutter, 79% from the free throw line this season. It'll be a one and one for Pearl Mutter, misspoke. The foul went against Russell Fisher. That is his fifth. So he's fouled out of the game with a minute 27 to go, replaced by Michael Barker. So Perlmutter working on a 19-point performance to the line. And now Barker's going to come out and be replaced by Dylan Thompson. But a one and one for Perlmutter. Oh. BWL led by two going into the fourth quarter. for two, and a four-point game, 127 to play. York fans making noise. No good. Golub fighting for the board. It'll stay on this end with BWL. York can't believe it. I don't blame him. Kick 
off the inbound. We'll just hit the reset button and do it again. Barker going to come in for Thompson. Here is Barker to Rabari. No. Oh, he's been cold in the second half. A minute left to go, a four-point lead for York. Ryan Shore telling Perlmutter to slow it down. No shot clock, just try to eat up a lot of time before getting a shot off. Perlmutter drives, no good. Rebound BWL, they break out of the fast break. Eisenberg. Rabari, a lot of time going off. Waiting for three, banks in! Oh my goodness! Time out! 31 and a half seconds left. And Harris Wheaton with a straightaway three off the window to make it a one point game. Wow. The timeout for BWL is a full timeout. It is also their final timeout. The possession arrow favors York Prep. Each team has nine fouls, so the next common foul on either side will send them to the line for two. And the teams are ready to go. One point game to determine the ISL champion. Dylan Friedman to inbounds. Taken away! And a foul! Stolen intended for Perlmutter. He commits the foul that is 10 on York. Two free throws for Michael Parker, the junior. That is Perlmutter's fourth. Here checks in as Jacob Hume goes off to the bench for York. A little extra height in there. No, 0 for 2. A chance to tie and take the lead, and he goes 0 for 2. Lost, Perlmutter dribbled on the line, should have been out. But it's not, instead of tie up, Possession arrow favors York in this situation. It's gonna be York basketball. York was looking for a foul on Perlmutter. Perlmutter absolutely dribbled on the sideline. None of that was called. Probably fine one way or the other, ball came loose. The tie up, the held ball, York basketball, timeout by the Panthers. Unreal, 49-48 York. About 20 seconds left to play here tonight. I know, I know. What an unbelievable finish we're set up for. BWL got the steal off the inbound, goes 0 for 2 at the line with a chance to go in front. 
and now they've got the possession arrow back in their direction. So they can go for a tie up here if they don't get the steal. But we'll see how both teams play it out. Rollmutter's gonna go into the backcourt here for York. That's Dylan Friedman set up right there to inbound for York. 10 fouls for the Panthers, nine for the Lions, 20.4 to go. Floated in. Friedman to Perlmutter. And there's a foul given by Jake Eisenberg. And on the Eisenberg foul, the royal opportunity for Perlmutter to make it a three-point game. That's the best he can do right now. Either way, a one-possession game. It just changes what BWL has to do on their next try. 16 seconds left. Out of timeouts. Three for Taylor Perlmutter. Now if you're York, maybe you consider fouling. They're not gonna though. Eight seconds left. Witten for the tie. No good. 1.3. Timeout, Panthers. Seconds left. York needs to get it in. And they'll be ISAL champions. It's very simple for BWO. You got to go for this steal. And you really don't have another option. You got to get the ball at all costs. Even a foul after the inbound doesn't do you any good. Two possession game, less than a second left, no timeouts. It's, it's impossible. In for Perlmutter, and that'll do it. Or will it? Looks like a foul was called before time expired, and everyone's gonna have to come off the court because the game is not over yet. Perlmutter's gonna go to the line and shoot two. With a couple tenths of a second left. It'll be largely ceremonial at this point. As your prep is going to take home the ISAL championship. Seven tenths of a second left. Taylor Perlmutter working on a 23-point game. Look to wrap it up. It was a nail-biter here today. BWL led going into the fourth quarter by two points and led for most of the second half. But it'll be York Prep taking home the ISAL championship. 25 for Perlmutter. The final score, 53-48. The York Prep Panthers are ISAL champions in 2023. Final stay on.
about the core so we can do our award ceremony. Everyone should be off the court. Please stay off the court. Preparing for the award ceremony stay here post game. So we can do our Your prep with a 53-48 victory over Birch, Rob, and Lennox. Okay. York Prep wins both the boys and girls ISAL Varsity Championships here today at Lebanon, Manhattan. As Lebanon AD, Keith Seguera, out presenting the plaques and trophies out at center court. And this year's regular season champs and playoff champs goes to York Prep. things up for us here today. York Prep takes down BWL 53-48 to claim the ISAL championship. Taylor Perlmutter, Shane Fisher in the middle, and Jacob Hume on the right, posing with the trophy. We want to celebrate, we want to celebrate. But we need the gym For York Prep, what a night. Board Director Chris Markowitz, I'm Joe Basile. So long from Milan, Manhattan. You've been watching the ISAL Basketball Championships. What a night in the financial districts.